Peter Block here in Orlando at the American Heart Association annual meeting for On the Scene. And with me is Margaret, actually Maggie Redfield from Mayo. Uh, Maggie has reported on a study using nitrates in heart failure. So Maggie, I'm going to let you talk about what you did in your study to start with and then the findings, which are sort of intriguing. Thank you. This was a study called the NEAT study, Nitrates Effect on Activity Tolerance. Simply what we did was see if long-acting nitrates, isosorbide mononitrate, made patients with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction more active. It was a crossover study. Patients got nitrate or placebo, were up titrated on the drug, and then crossed over to the other drug. The primary endpoint was activity tolerance as assessed by patient-worn accelerometers, and we found out whether uh, nitrates made the patients more active during the day. Okay, so let me interrupt and ask a question. Forgive me for interrupting, but it sounds as though, you know, we know nitrates are good for you, quote-unquote, if you have heart failure. So what did you find with the study? I mean, that seems like a strange study to do. Well, actually, uh, studies in HEFPEF and in angina have shown that nitrates make patients able to be more active. But nobody's ever looked to see if patients with HEFPEF could be more active or tolerate activity better with nitrates. So that's why we looked at it in this specific heart failure population. Okay, what'd you find? We found that nitrates made patients less active and they didn't improve their submaxial exercise capacity, their quality of life scores, or their BMP levels. We believe that what this reflects is the accelerometers and the daily activity measurements being very sensitive to subtle side effects of the drug. More patients stopped the drug during the nitrate period or had other side effects, but probably the daily activity going down reflects subtle side effects that this drug is having in HEFPEF. Boy, that's a sort of a little bit of a surprise. So let's go back to the other studies, Maggie, that we know that nitrates are helpful in terms of mortality and so forth, we think anyway, in patients with heart failure. Is that no longer true? I mean, what's the clinical take away from this trial? You have to remember, this is heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. And things that uh, have been shown to help in heart failure and reduced ejection fraction often don't work the same in these patients. So that's why it was so important to look at it. The second important point is we were just looking at their short-term symptom relief effects. This wasn't a long-term study of remodeling or, or outcomes. Uh, so just looking, do these make patients feel better? and they didn't. Okay, so uh, you pointed out, I think, for me anyway, for this trial, the most important thing, which is these are preserved ejection fraction heart failure patients, probably the most difficult group of heart failure patients to take care of. Yes. And we've all used nitrates for them. Uh, we don't really know, do we, whether or not it helps them long term because they're such a selected group. And so uh, for now, nitrates are a little bit on the shelf for this group? Uh, in my practice, they are, yes. All right, there you have it, a good clinical pearl. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you.